Donald Trump and Kamala Harris are preparing for their first and what could be their only presidential debate this cycle. It will take place Tuesday evening in Philadelphia in the critical battleground state of Pennsylvania. It will be a 90 minute debate. Both candidates will have two minutes to answer questions, two minutes to rebut their opponents answers to the questions. There will be no audience in the debate hall. Both of them will be standing the entire time. No notes, no props allowed on the debate stage. There had been a dispute between the two campaigns over whether the microphones would be muted when the candidates weren't speaking. Kamala Harris's team wanted the microphones to be open the entire time, to hear some of the back and forth between the candidates. Donald Trump's campaign wanted the debate rules to remain what they were over the summer, to have the microphones muted when the candidates were not speaking. Ultimately, the host network, ABC News, went with muted mics when the candidates weren't speaking. So the rules are set. There will be no opening statements. There will be closing statements for these two candidates on the debate stage. Both of them have spent the last several days preparing in their own way for the debate. Kamala Harris has been hunkered down in Pittsburgh. That's also in the critical state of Pennsylvania. She has a team of advisors. They're doing mock debates. She has a stand-in playing Donald Trump. I'm told they've been videotaping the sessions, watching the tape, really trying to hone these attack lines hone her policy positions. Donald Trump doesn't like to use the word debate prep, but he has also been with a group of advisors talking about policies and talking about exactly what he wants to get across on the debate stage. At the end of the day, Donald Trump ha will have participated in seven general election debates by the time Tuesday's debate is over. That's more than any candidate in American history. And so this will be a chance for him to re-demonstrate his ability to serve to the American people. Kamala Harris Harris hasn't debated uh, in several years. And so her team says that she's going in to this debate as an underdog. Of course, this will be a critical moment. Polls show a neck and neck race. And this could be the only time for these two candidates to demonstrate themselves in front of the American people next to each other before November's election.